Hi guys, welcome to Flick Finest, the best Korean dramas on Netflix underscore just how widespread South Korean pop culture has become. Alongside the global explosion of K-pop, K-drama series and movies are becoming more and more entrenched in Western culture as well. Just as K-pop listeners don't necessarily need to understand the Korean language to enjoy the country's music, subtitles have made it possible for audiences to binge as many Korean shows or movies as they want. Today, I am going to rank the seven best Korean dramas on Netflix right now. We hope that this selection will be useful and everyone will find something new to watch. So let's not waste any time and begin. Number 6. Love Alarm Love Alarm aired for a total of 14 episodes and 2 seasons. The two seasons are pretty short, so it won't take long to get caught up. And this Korean drama is just fun to watch as it's boosted by the charismatic cast. In Love Alarm, the likable characters deal with a popular app that alerts all of its users if there's someone within a 10-meter radius who has romantic feelings for them. That makes it so there's potential for a touching love story at almost any moment, while also utilizing the relatability that comes with downloading an app for romantic purposes. Number 4. 39. 39 is an exploration of life on the edge of 40. The K-drama was on the global top 10 weekly list for four weeks, being one of the most watched international Netflix TV shows. The series follows three 39-year-old women and their trials and tribulations in life, love, and their careers. Xiaomi Zhou, a dermatologist and director of her own clinic, Zhang Chenyang, a drama coach, and Jiang Juhi, a saleswoman in the cosmetics department of a department store. 39 is full of moments to make audiences both laugh and cry, as its highly relatable content makes it one of the best Korean dramas on Netflix. Number 3. Nevertheless. Nevertheless features a classic K-drama romance between its two titular characters. With plenty of dramatic moments, Nevertheless is based on the eponymous webtoon published on the South Korean platform Never Webtoon. The show's single season boasts 10 episodes, each a little over the one-hour mark in length. Nevertheless chronicles the love story of Yuna Bai and Park Jae-yoon. Both characters have complicated relationships with the idea of love, with Nae Bai hurt by past relationships and Jae on womanizing his way through a non-committal life. The two begin a tenuous romance at first, blossoming into something beautiful over its 10-episode run. Number 2. Romance is a bonus book. Romance is a bonus book aired in early 2019 for a total of 16 episodes, with each episode about an hour long. The Netflix series follows Cha Yun Ho, an author and editor at a publishing company. Cha Yun Ho has known Kang Danai for a long time, but the two of them get closer and closer during the series when Kang Danai goes through some major changes in their life. Without giving away the twists that make romance is a bonus book one of the best Korean dramas on Netflix. Their potential romance is stalled when it's revealed that some of the publishing company's other employee as have feelings for them too. Number 1. Squid Game While many of the K-dramas on Netflix are added to the streamer after airing on South Korean television, Squid Game was not. Instead, it was created for Netflix and broadcast all over the world at the same time, becoming the most watched series in a matter of weeks. With just over 8 hours worth of episodes, the first season has been watched by more than 265 million people. Squid Game follows a group of people who join a deadly game in a desperate attempt to win money to pay off their debts. Though the rounds of games are based on innocent children's games, losing proves fatal. The twists and turns of the series are what keep people tuning in and keep audiences waiting for season 2 of Netflix's most watched show.
Well, this is it. Share your impressions in comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for upcoming videos. Bye.